Hello students, welcome to Scholars Universal School online class. Today, we are going to be looking at the subject, Literature in English. And the topic for lesson 1 is Introduction to Drama, Definition and Types of Drama. Now, I'm quite sure that you understand that drama is one of the genres of literature. We have three genres. Of literature so drama is one of them and today we are looking at drama now what is drama drama is a genre of literature which creates or recreates human experience through dramatization it is the representation of human action it can occur on the built stage motor park and village square or on a village pathway in the case of communal celebrations and displays Basic elements of drama We have plot, characters, action, acts or scenes, setting and dialogue. In explaining the element of drama, we are starting with characters. These are the persons that the playwright has created in the play and they are referred to as dramatis personae. Action. This is the physical, emotional, and intellectual approaches of a character which contribute the plot development. Action is dependent on character to establish a drama. So, these first two elements are dependent on another. The character is inactive or does not serve its purpose without action and action ceases to occur without character plot this is a sequence of events that make up a story or drama plot is known as the foundation of a story around which the characters and setting are built in other words we can as well define or explain plot to be a sequential arrangement of events as they of unfold in a literary work. The next is act and scene. These are parts of a play that separate events from another with the changing in characters and setting. Setting this is the time and place or when or where of the story. It is also defined as a time and geographical location within which a story is enacted. A setting is typically a place where or the place where actions or events are enacted by characters in a literary work or in drama. Dialogue. Dialogue is an essential element of drama which involves the exchange of words between two or more characters. One of the distinguishing factor of the genres of literature that defines drama is dialogue. Dialogue is very very important and is necessary for drama to take place as it involves the exchange of words between two or more characters. Now, types of drama. Basically, we have four types of drama but they are, they, they, they are not limited to just four. They are not limited to just four. We have other uh, types of drama, like closed drama. We have farce, burlesque, and so on. And that is going to be um, one of your assignments 
for this lesson. So when we get there, you will know what to do. Now, comedy. This is a type of dramatic work that is amusing and satirical in its tone, mostly having cheerful or happy ending. The motif of this dramatic work is triumph over unpleasant situation by creating comic effects, resulting in a happy ending. The main feature of comedy is emo. Now, comedy, as basically defined, is a type of drama or literary work that mostly have as a happy ending. Mostly as a happy ending. And the motive of this work is to um to, to create a sense of laughter, to create a sense of laughter, a sense of happiness, a sense of joy without attaching any form of seriousness to the situation or action in the course of play or dramatic display. So the main feature of comedy is humor, which is also known as laughter. Laughter. Now, examples of comedy include Showing cast the lion and the jewel, Kobinaseki's The Blinkards, Oliver Goldsmith's The She Stoops to Conquer. Now, the next of the types of drama is tragedy. It is usually regarded as the opposite of comedy, just as we know what comedy is, as it ends, like comedy ends happily and is usually. Um, of pleasant um, event and action. Now, comedy, it is a drama whose atmosphere is often serious and tense with an, an happy ending, often involving death. In tragedy, the protagonist, who is often a highly placed personality, is entangled in struggle or conflict, which leads to his ruin or disappointment. From this, we are able to understand that tragedy, unlike comedy, involves a tense situation whereby a character usually known as a tragic hero is, 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 is entangled or is in a situation or dilemma that therefore leads to his imminent downfall or destruction in the course of the plot development. So, usually we have bloodshed occurring in the tragedy, we have loss of lives, we have uh, an Upturn or downturn, a downturn of event, especially when the tragic hero is befallen with a tragic event, such as losing his uh, his his, his position in, in the society, or losing his wealth, or being ridiculed. Despite is noble or royal or affluence or despite is affluence the characters that suffer such misfortune usually have heroic qualities that is they are usually people of noble status or people that are well regarded in the society. Examples of such are king, queen, prince, admirable fellow, etc. Tragedy often teaches a moral. 
The most important feature of tragedy is the sadness, pathos, or depth of feeling which the player is able to evoke and which purge us of our emotions. One of the most significant aspects of tragedy is the fact that it causes what is known as purgation of emotion. Yes, there is purgation of emotion as audience tend to feel pity towards or express pity towards the tragic hero who happens to have to have to have probably committed an error committed an error or made a mistake a grave mistake in the course of the plot development and the, the, the audience tend to to, to, to express some sort of pity and, and 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 think towards how man is actually fallible and how such occurrence could actually happen or could have happened to anyone regardless of their uh, position in the society examples of this are Macbeth by William Shakespeare, King Emene by Zulu Sofola, Kurumi by Olarotimi, Art Choice by Sunni Ododo. To add more, Sophocles, Oedipus by Sophocles, and its adaptation, which is written, which was written by um, Olarotimi, titled "The Gods Are Not to Blame." All of these and many others are examples of tragedy. Now, tragic comedy, just like the name implies, this is a combination of elements that exude pleasantness, humor, with elements that exude seriousness such as tense situation such as sadness such as humiliation now tragic comedy is a play that combines elements of tragedy and comedy as i had rightly made mention it has a serious tone and series of tense moments, but events in the play end on the note of relief. Now, this is it. This is a combination of two ideas, such that at first the situation or the action rises and comes out to be, oh, it is going to end so bad. But towards the end, there is a sense of pleasantness in the course of the plot development and everything, the heightened situation, the heightened situation comes out to end happily, joyously, and the character who happens to be falling or going astray or going towards destruction is eventually rescued or saved. A good example is The Merchant of Venice by William Shakespeare. Now, the last of the types of drama which we are going to treat in this lesson is melodrama. This is another light-hearted comic play in which credulity is challenged by the nature of the action. Now, here, the credibility of the event or happenings in the event is doubted. Is doubted as thus audience tend to see that, oh, the, 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 the comic the comic um, reality, the comic reality, you know, 
um, enacted in the play is is quite you know unclear. It's quite unclear, and the audience begin to feel some kind of suspicion or or some kind of you know um, feeling of of doubt towards the action being displayed. It highlights suspense and romantic sentiment with characters who are usually clearly good or clearly bad. In order to create excitement, sensation and shock in the audience, belief is downplayed. Now you can see, belief is downplayed. Now, this, these things, the, the, the event or the action enacted go beyond the ordinary belief of the audience of the audience and they are doubted hmm? how can how can we have a clearly good or clearly bad character i mean a clearly good character with no stain or with no so perfect character hmm? so that is an exaggerated situation how can we have a totally bad character as an exaggerated solution um, um, situation so the audience begins to doubt so that is where we have there is credit in which credibility is challenged by the nature of the action as its name as its name implies this form of drama often uses a musical background underscore or heighten the emotional tone of a scene or heighten emotional tone of a scene often when the believability of tragedy is stretched the result is melodrama so now an over situation or over exaggerated um, um, dramatic situation which involves um, comic or emo is often known as melodrama so in a situation where we have an overstretched idea that almost looks taintless almost looks you know um, um, you know, faultless, then it is what? It is a mellow drama. Examples are Bernard Shaw's Arms and the Man and Christopher Malo's The Jew of Mortar. Bernard Shaw's Arms and the Man and Christopher Malo's The Jew of Mortar are good examples of melodrama. Now, assignments what is drama? I like and explain the elements of drama. Provide at least five differences between comedy and tragedy. Using Google as guide, I like other types of drama aside the four thought in the class. Pardon the um, error in the spelling of thought. It is spelled T A U G H T instead of what you can see on the screen. So please correct that. Thank you very much. Thank you for paying rapt attention. Do follow us on Twitter at scholars underscore otter and subscribe to our YouTube channel on Scholars Universal School and you can also visit our website www.scholarsuniversalschool.com and for inquiries call 080-3394-2989 or 080-290-81652 thank you